Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I'd like to get into oil tinker stocks and where I see them going in the near future. Also, if you'd like three free stocks and access to our private Discord chat, check the links in the description below. So guys, getting into it, we see that oil tinker stocks over the last few weeks have been going down, and that's basically what I've been calling for for a while right now. And we're seeing that in the API report that just came out this week as well, that the oil stores have gone down significantly, and we've had kind of our first weekly draw in a while. And this was around 8 million barrels. And we're seeing that again, this is driving downwards pressure in the price of these oil tinker stocks. Now, we are seeing again, the American economy is picking back up and oil demand is increasing. So the use of these oil tanker stocks aren't really in high demand and aren't really going to be used in the near future. So I do think this can lead to more downside pressure in the oil tanker stocks in the near future, especially if the economies do come back into production. Now, of course, if we see another shutdown through the major economies and another lockdown, we're going to see these oil tanker stocks potentially rise because again, if oil production still remains the same and demand is obviously not that high, they're going to have to store the oil in storages and the oil tanker stocks would benefit but since we're seeing again the api report being bullish on oil this means that the oil stores are going down and we're not really needing these oil tanker stocks in the near future so let's get into the stock charts now getting to the chart of dht guys we see in my last video i said a break and a close under this region is going to lead to further capitulation before we find some support in exactly this region again so we basically called this play over here and what i'm seeing right now guys is again this pattern that i was calling out in the previous video where we've been heavily rejected by this 20 exponential moving average several times right once twice three times a fourth time which led to the capitulation and now we're getting rejected a fifth time so clearly this 20 exponential moving average resistance is a key point in the chart of dht holdings and we do see that guys after we bounced in this region we kind of popped another 7% before retracing this whole move back. So this close on Friday is very bearish in my opinion, guys. And I do think we can see further capitulation in the price of DHT in the near future. But we can bounce in this region slightly more until we finally break out, right? So we are seeing that again, the demand is not here for these oil tanker stocks. And the price action currently is not supporting any bullish thesis based off the fact we have a bearish engulfing candle on this candlestick and we're getting rejected by this 20 exponential moving average and this level which was supposed to act as support which it did over here twice but then turned into resistance and we had this huge five percent candlestick on friday's chart now let's get into the weekly chart and looking at the weekly chart guys you see that again we found support in this area that's close to this 200 simple moving average on the weekly chart and we did trend higher this week to retest the breakdown zone but we got heavily rejected again. So this candlestick right here resembles a bearish shooting star candle. And I do think we can head lower if we do, of course, close under this level and break under the 200 simple moving average. So if we break out of here, what level would I be looking at to find potential support in the chart of DHT holdings? We see on the longer term time frame from July 18th, we kind of broke up from this region, found support, trended higher, got rejected by this 200 simple moving average resistance and trended back before finding support again but ultimately breaking down, capitulating a bit, and then we reverse the pattern and trend it much higher. So I do think this level over here around the 432 mark can act as a decent level for a bounce in the chart of DHT because this is a level of support. And if we do close under this 200 simple moving average on the weekly chart, I do expect further price capitulation on DHT in the near future. So now let's get into Nordic American tankers. And guys, looking at Nordic American tankers, this was the area that I was talking about where we would potentially find support slightly, trend a little higher, but got rejected again by this level of support that turned into resistance. And now we're trending lower. And this, guys, in my opinion, isn't a positive candlestick pattern. We're seeing consolidation along this 200 exponential and simple moving average. Sure, this is a support confluence, and that's why I was labeling it out on the chart of not before because we had both of these support confluences coming up but we're clearly not seeing a nice bounce on nordic american tankers based off of this bullish api report for oil and we're seeing that it had an adverse effect on the price of nordic american tankers over the last week and we're seeing sideways consolidation right now and this 20 exponential moving average guys has acted as a significant level of resistance as well and we see we tried to pop higher from it but we didn't find support and ultimately capitulated further so right now i am expecting that if we do test an area on monday it might be up until this 430 mark but i do think there's more downwards pressure on the price of nordic american tankers and i do think that this level around the three dollars and fifty cents mark can act as a potential level of support and again we can risk around two three percent of our portfolio to potentially get a nice nine percent bounce which is a three to one reward to risk ratio on the chart of nordic american tankers and this guys would be my ultimate capitulation zone it's really not as clear as i'd like it 
but we can potentially see maybe a price bounce off in this region around the $2.55 mark. But there is room for a potential bounce off of this area because again, there is a lot of wick action going on in here. So that's why I've outlined this area as a much bigger zone in the chart of Nordic American tankers. And I wouldn't really be willing to buy until we reach maybe around this $2.60 mark, which is somewhat in the middle of the region. And I think we can potentially bounce from there. But right now I am looking at this $3.50 mark for a short term gain in the near future because this was the area where we found significant price support and we broke out and trended higher. So these are the two areas that I'm looking at. I think a break and a close under this 392 level would be bearish for Nordic American tankers. And I do think we'd see further price capitulation into this $3.40.50 region. Let's get into the weekly chart. Now looking at the weekly chart guys, we see that we're closing under this 200 simple moving average. And this is pretty bearish in my opinion. I do think there's still a slight possibility we can find support maybe in this 392 to 403 region because we have 50 weekly exponential moving average support coming up. But I do think we're more likely to find support in this $3.50 sense region because this is kind of bearish now that we've been rejected by this 200 simple moving average so you see that we tried to rebound after we hit it the first time got rejected by the 200 exponential moving average and trended lower so just be careful guys in the chart of nat because i do think there's more potential downside in the price i do think again this would be my ultimate capitulation zone before seeing a nice bounce because there was a lot of buy pressure coming in even though the volume doesn't show it this was a significant rise in the price of Nordic American tankers. And this would be the level that I'd see in a few weeks, maybe, if we do see a trend much more bearish in the near future. So overall, guys, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot with the algorithm. Thank you guys for watching and have a great one.